Due to the success of A Hard Day's Night, Shenson and Lester were again recruited as producer and director, and United Artists put up the money. But this time, the budget was twice that of A Hard Day's Night, an estimated million and a quarter, which by today's standards is virtually nothing. And Help made ten times that amount almost as soon as it was released. The Beatles were such a national institution by this time that London's national newspapers devoted the front page that day to pictures of the Beatles and reviews of the film. Unlike the Beatles' first two films, Magical Mystery Tour was a one-hour television special aired in England. It was made from several skits which the Beatles helped write. Unlike Hard Day's Night and Help, the idea for Yellow Submarine came from a Beatle. According to producer Al Brodax, the film was inspired by a 3 a.m. phone call from Lennon, who said, wouldn't it be great if Ringo was followed down the street by a yellow submarine? But as things ended up, the Beatles' contribution to their feature was minimal. They did appear briefly near the end and produced the soundtrack featuring cuts from Magical Mystery Tour and Lady Madonna. Brodak said he took a lot from the Sgt. Pepper album. He said, we took the word pepper, which is positive, spicy, and created a place called Pepperland, which is full of color and music. But in the hills surrounding Pepperland live the Blue Meanies, who hate color and everything positive. Yellow Submarine was assembled under the supervision of German poster artist Heinz Edelman. It was put together from five million separate sketches, which later sold as one-of-a-kind souvenirs. Collectors could actually own the images created for the film. We are the original. Let It Be was the Beatles' last film together. It was shot in a studio while creating the album Let It Be. Even after the separation of the Beatles, their legacy lives on. Lennon told a newspaper in 1973 that change in a lifestyle and the appearance of youth didn't just happen. We set out to do it, he said. Music was no longer seen as just entertainment, but as a force for social change. A long, long time ago. As their power to shape public opinion became more apparent to them, the Beatles' music spoke more directly to their times. Lennon explains, we started putting out messages. The Beatles created an era and were a reflection of it. The messages were simple, but compelling. So compelling that the FBI kept a file on John Lennon and followed his peace activism wherever it went. From the Montreal bed-in to the burning of draft cards in Berkeley, Lennon was there preaching an end to war and a greater understanding for humanity. A figure known worldwide, Lennon will not be able to see how history will treat him. But his millions of fans will never forget how the Fab Four spoke of love and peace. Yeah.